It's estimated that 70,000 British Columbians are living with Alzheimer's disease. And the Victoria gentleman you're about to meet has written just a novel about that, but about how a husband and wife cope with a devastating diagnosis to encourage others to live with hope. Veronica Cooper has more. Don't make excuses for me, she says, and don't write me off. Don't let me become an old biddy saying the same thing over and over again. And Max says, Connie Kish, an old biddy? Ain't gonna happen, no way, no how. Bruce McLean is reading from his newly published novel, The Manana Treehouse. It's his first book, completed at age 91. You know, I wish I could keep my age a secret. Going back when I was a reporter, I would, that's, that would be the angle I would jump on. This guy's 91, he's written a book. You know, kind of, that's the story. But I wish it wasn't. <laughs> and he's right. His age isn't the story here. It's the story of deep love between a husband and wife and a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Well, I guess my wife, Pauline, was the inspiration for it. She, she had Alzheimer's, and she was so brave and witty and articulate about it, such, just so charming. She never got bitter or nasty. Connie Kish, the central character, is really, she has a lot of Pauline's qualities. The, the kind of wry wit, Pauline had that, and I like to think that Connie Kish has it too. You know? His second wife, they had just 20 years together. Let's see, she would have been early 70s, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was devastating, it really was. And the irony was that she kind of knew it was coming. She had two sisters, two older sisters, who both came down with Alzheimer's. And she once said to me, you know, maybe you should write something about us. <laughs> and that's what I did. Writing is in McLean's blood. He was a journalist at various newspapers across Canada for 35 years. He's always been writing books. Right, so as long as I, could, I remember growing up and you know, my dad would get up at four o'clock in the morning and work on writing a book before he went to his job. I see a lot of writing and some of it's excellent uh, and some of it needs work. His line by line was pretty impeccable because he's a journalist. And then the story. This is a fresh take on Alzheimer's. I would say it is a love story above everything else. Um, and it w was a delight to read. So how different is it to write a novel than news articles? Oh, it's, it's vastly different. They were just little walks in the park. This is climbing Mount Everest for me, yeah. I've read somewhere about a novelist who had a little sign on his desk and it said, now you know how hard it is to be God. And I think that really sums it up. You're, you're trying to create a little world, you know, and make it work, you know. And he has made it work. The Manana Treehouse is a love story with a new way to look at this devastating disease. The sense of hope that it gives. I know a lot of people are, are struggling right now with um, parents and long-term care, but it gives that, that sense of hope that it's not the end, right? That, that there's life to be lived and fun to be had and joy to be found. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.